Day number nine of the captain's log, January 29th, and it's turnaround day, which means we say goodbye to 3,000 plus guests from last cruise and hello to 3,000 plus guests for this cruise. It's 8.30 at night and we've been up since 4.45. And when I say we, I mean we, although somebody has had a nap throughout the day and it wasn't me. After arrival, I went down on the gangway with our cruise director, Shauna, to see the guest off. And I learned some fun facts, like there's a Captain Kate Court and a service dog that's named after me. Speaking of animals, we got over 500 pallets delivered to the ship, but before we bring them on board, each one gets checked by a canine unit. I love this because it's for the convenience of our crew, especially those that didn't have the time to go ashore and go shopping today in Port Everglades. Crew Mail Services brings the shop on board the ship. They have snacks, the latest electronics, perfumes, whatever the crew want to spoil themselves with. This is what I picked up for the bridge. We dropped off the pilot, and now it's two days of sailing to our next port of call, Cartagena, Colombia. Once we were underway, we did notice something special out on the horizon. This is Royal Caribbean's Independence of the Seas. And why is this chance meeting so special? Because my husband is on board for the next month working on a project, and the closest I'll come to him is 4.81 nautical miles. <laughs> 